Hey guys, Mr. Riz here to help you out with your factoring polynomials packet. Let you guys know what's going to be going on uh, for the next couple days um, so you guys can get through. So we're going to be looking at uh, just simply factoring basic polynomials. And what that means is that our polynomials are going to have an A equals 1. So it's a quadratic expression. So we have x squareds and x's and we have our numbers here. Uh, but we're just going to have 1 be the leading coefficient. Um, there'll be another set of rules when we have a number bigger than one, uh, but we want to make sure we get this down first. All right, so there's basically four different scenarios that can happen. We can have um, our, our B and C both be positive. We can have B be positive, C be negative. We could have both of them be negative or B be negative and C be positive. So we're going to go over all four different ways of what we're going to do here to solve them. We'll go through examples of each. Okay, if we have, let me see if I can zoom this out so I can put the example and the steps in the same screen. I don't think I can. Oh, well, yeah, because I have her. Yeah. Uh, okay, if we have uh, both of them be positive, we're basically going to do two things. What we're going to do here is we're going to put the C number on top of the X um, and then put the B number at the bottom. So we're going to fill out, um, complete the X. We'll say B on top. No, C on top, B on bottom. All right, so if we look at this example down here, it's kind of cut off, but what we're going to do here is we're going to put our 3 on our top and our 4 on our bottom. Uh, I always like to put the C on top because that's what we're going to be focusing on first, that number. All right, then what we're going to do here is we are going to figure out what two numbers multiply together to get us C. Find two numbers that multiply to get C. All right. Then these two kind of go together. Mm -hmm. They must and all right, they have to add to get B. All right, so we have to think what two numbers multiply together to give us three, add together to get four. Well, this is why we focus on three here because there's only one possible combination to multiply together to get three, and that is one and three. And the last step, we're gonna make both the answers positive. And we're going to fill out the parentheses. All right, so what that means is if we have R here, that means in the one parenthesis we're going to have an R plus 1, and the other parenthesis is going to be R plus 3. Both of these are positive, meaning we have plus signs. Um, and there we go. Okay, next one here, what if we have a negative and a positive? Okay, so what we're going to do is same thing like before, we're going to put C on top, B on bottom. All right, so this example here, we're going to put negative 27 on the top, and we're going to put our 6 on the bottom. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to find two numbers. Find two numbers. You know what, we probably can put these together. I'm realizing I probably should have had this be step four and that put together. Two numbers that multiply to get C. And but this time, since we have a negative, we're going to subtract to get B. All righty. So we got to think about two numbers that we can multiply together to get 27. We know like 1 times 27 is 27, but that doesn't subtract to give us 6. All right, 2 doesn't work. All right, 3. What about 3 times 9? Uh, 3 times 9 is 27, and if we subtract 3 and 9, we would get 6. All right, so 3 and 9 are our answers. What we're going to do here is we're going to make... 
the bigger number positive. All right, so that means we're going to make this 9 positive, and we're going to make this 3 negative. And then we're going to fill out the parentheses. All righty, so if we want to factor r squared plus 6r minus 27, we'd have a r minus 3 and an r plus 9. All right, so the bigger number was positive and the smaller number was negative. Okay, which makes sense because negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. Negative 3 plus 9 is 6. All right, so two more scenarios to go through here. What about if they are both negative? All right, if they are both negative, just like before, we're going to put the C on top. C on top. B on the bottom. All right, so that means we're going to put in this example here. We got negative 15 on the top, and we got a negative 2 on the bottom. And we're going to figure out what two numbers multiply to equal C and add, or not add, subtract to equal B. All right, so we got to think about 15. What numbers can we multiply together to get 15? We definitely can do 1 and 15. It's 15. We can't do 2, 3, and 5. Uh, that would be 15. Okay, 3 and 5 we could subtract. Okay, so 3 and 5 are going to be our numbers here. But in this case here, if B is a negative number, we're going to make the bigger number is going to be negative. The smaller number will be positive. So we're going to make the mm -hmm. 5 negative and make the 3 positive. And then we need to fill out the parentheses. All righty. So we're going to have a r plus 3 and an r minus 5. And if we think about it, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. All right, last, if we have B is negative, but C is positive, well, we're going to start off just like how we always do. We're going to put C on the top, B on the bottom. All right, so we're going to put our, make my X here, 21 on the top and our negative 10 on the bottom. All right, we're going to do what two numbers? We're going to multiply to get C and add to get B. All righty. So we're going to think, okay, we can do 1 times 21. All right, that's 21. All right, if we add them together, that's 22. That doesn't work. 2 doesn't work. Uh, 3, 3 times 7 is 21. 3 plus 7 is 10. Okay, so 3 and 7 are going to be the magic numbers. But if B is negative while C is positive, we're going to make both numbers negative so it's going to be a negative three and a negative seven and the last thing we do is we fill out the parentheses all right so it's going to be an r minus three and an r minus seven which makes sense negative three times a negative seven is a positive 21 negative three minus seven is a negative 10. Okay, so this is factor, and we're going to go through and do a lot of practice. Now, this next page here is to go through to help you out if you don't know your times table, if second grade was tough and you never learned your times table. So what you're going to be looking here with this times table is basically what is your C number. So say your C number was 36, and you had to go through and try, you couldn't figure out what combination works. So what you're going to do is just look here to see, okay, here's a 36, here's a 36, here's a 36, uh, here's a 36, and do we got any other ones? Okay, here's a 36, um, got another one here and another one here. And so you're just going to look, okay, well, 36 is 3 times 12, okay, does that add to equal to whatever you want to get or add or subtract? So use your times table if you get stuck, you can't figure these out, um, yeah.
if you can't find the right combination that works. I will always give you guys a combination that works. All right, let me show you guys online what you're going to do for the next two assignments here. So this next assignment, um, I'm going to try to open this up here the right way. Okay, this paint by pixel uh, assignment here, you guys are going to open up this uh, Google Doc, and then you guys are going to make a copy. So to make a copy, you pretty much just go over here to file, make a copy. And you're going to complete this. So on one side, there are the problems. And on the one tab, there's the problems. And on this tab, you're going to put the answers. Uh, so it's going to take a second to load up here. All right, so if I go over to the problems here, maybe we'll do the first problem together. So we got x squared plus 13x plus 42. So we got to figure out what two numbers multiply together to give us 42 add together to get 13. So if you're watching this video, you might, I'll give you the answer here. It'd be six and seven. Six times seven is 42. Six plus seven is 13. And they're both going to be positive. So what you're going to do is just go over here to your answer and you type in x plus six. Don't put any spaces, parentheses, x plus seven. Don't put any spaces in between anything. And basically, if you click off to the side, if it's correct, it turns green and it starts to fill out some of these pixels. Once you get all of these problems complete and they're all correct, this will actually turn into a picture when you're done. And you're just going to screenshot this when you are done and turn that in. So there's the first assignment that you guys will work on. Uh, so you'll just, once you get your screenshot, you'll upload that. And then your second assignment is the last page on the packet. Uh, I'll have to turn this around here. Oh, rotate that again and one more time. Um, you guys are just going to go through this or that. So like you have examples here. You got x squared plus x minus 42. So if the answer is x minus 7 plus x plus 6, you're going to write your name in the front of the word this. If your name, if you think the answer is x plus 7, x minus 6. Okay, if we think about it here, what two numbers multiply together to give us negative 42, add together to get 1. Have to be the positive 7 and the negative 6. So this one would be x plus 7, x minus 6. That is the correct answer. So you're going to just follow this direction. You're going to write your name after factoring. So you'd put your name up here. Okay, so based off of what's going on here, you can do your work, but you're going to pick which answer is correct and then either do the next thing. You're either going to draw two leaves, uh, two leaf friends jumping or draw two corn stalks friends dancing. You know, it's just going through having you do different things uh, based off of what your answer is. So you got two assignments here, and this will take us to uh, Thanksgiving break. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. You guys can get started on this. And if you have any questions, just ask. If not, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.